What's up everyone, this is Cybernight, and today I have a special opening for you guys because I was able to find a Yu-Gi-Oh! Judgment of the Light Deluxe Edition open up for you guys. Yeah, I actually found one of these on Amazon. I don't know if they're still on there. I guess check it out if you want to get one. I'm not sponsored by Amazon. But I was able to get this for free by using Swagbucks. So check them out. Link in the description. It's something I've used for maybe five years now. It's been a long time. I've used Swagbucks. You guys have probably heard about this because I hadn't really done a video like this in a while. But basically, you're able to gain points by signing up with them. Uh, most times just by using a search engine is how I get points with them. You search, it's random, of course, not just every time you search something like with Google or whatever. Um, and uh, basically with that, you gather up points, then you get what you want. I always go for the Amazon gift cards, and that's how I get free Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. And I'm a Prime member too, so that helps with the shipping even as well. So check them out. They also have iTunes and uh, like PlayStation gift cards and other things too, which I've thought about saving up for uh, to go for like Genshin, because I, yeah, I spend a little more than I should on that game <laughs> anyway. But uh, check it out. It's not officially a sponsor. It's actually something I use and I'm telling you guys about. So if you want to check it out, link in the description. Anyway, like and subscribe, and let's get to opening this, because I actually like Deluxe Editions. I thought they were a cool idea. You can actually get, you know, the boxes random, and they had some different promos and stuff. The idea was good, and especially since Special Editions are gone again, I would like to see this kind of product again. Maybe include some dice or something, though. You know, basically, give me basically the Elite Trainer boxes that Pokemon has, but Yu-Gi-Oh. I throw a promo in there, a good reprint, throw some packs in of, you know, each set, whatever, you know, whatever the current set is at that moment, throw some dice in, or a coin, or something cool, you know, and there you go, and a cool box, like this. <laughs> I was kind of hoping I'd get that one, actually. We got the Utopia box. Which is fitting. I mean, we got a lot of Utopia stuff this year, so very nice. If you guys want to see it. And it's good for storage. You also get some card sleeves with these two. The card sleeves are, were not very good. I think there's like 20 of them in here. They were okay for like maybe a binder or something, but yeah, if they actually had some good sleeves, maybe, you know, a pack of like 70 or 60 or something, that would be much better. And maybe go with whatever theme, you know? Promo pack. Have your booster packs right here. Some of them kind of fell here. That's packing material. What else we got there? Have a beginner's guide. Again, it's kind of like with the Elite Trainer boxes. I think they have those for Pokemon. And then, yeah, some more booster packs that were kind of falling. But, yeah, it's a good storage box. Honestly, I would like to see something like this, like, every time. Because whenever sets don't get reprints, uh, especially with cards being tough to find anyway, it's made things like Rise of the Duel as, like, an expensive set. Because we never got a special edition for it or a deluxe edition. So, seriously, Konami, do something about that. I, I would love it. Anyway, we have Archfiend Emperor, then Flying Sea, and Vampire Kingdom. Promos weren't very good from this, I mean, to be honest, but, eh, something, I guess. Throw in, like, one decent reprint or, like, just something, like an altar art or something, I think that would help. And now with our booster packs, you are not guaranteed a hollow per pack with this set. So we do have a chance of a Ghost Rare or even Ultimate Rares. Just saying. So, share your energy with me, hit that like button, let's see what we got here. Jumblader, hey. <laughs> we have Bujingi Crane. Is that hollow? Oh, it is. Okay, cool. I was trying to think, was there a common synchro in this set? Oh, uh, we have Mistbird uh, Colossalus. Well, there we go. Not bad at all. I'll take a hollow right there. First pack. Intercept Tomato. <laughs> I like some of those. Uh, just random cards like that. I actually really like this set. I remember open up so much of it. Something boom, trap tricks. We have Dark ZW Chimera Clad. Oh, I thought maybe that could have been a hollow. I was trying to think. Is there a common? Yeah, <laughs> common XC. But I remember being happy about this set because it was like the first I think uh, Yu Gi Oh Zexel set that includes Synchro monsters again. Like we went such a long time without Synchro summoning because no one Synchros. I don't think in the whole series of uh, Zexel. Jingy Turtle. <laughs> cheap, cheap, cheap. I remember that one. Have uh, Corrupted Keys. Another rare. Really hope, though, for like an ultra rare. That's always the goal. If you have an older pack or you can get one, yeah, that's what we're that's what we're going for, you know? Super Defense Robo. Oh, another one, actually. Have uh, Booja Incarnation. Oh, nothing on that one either. A lot of Bujin cards. <laughs> I guess that was kind of one of the main archetypes people were hunting down in this set. Let's see. 
basically the same one. Yellow Dustin, I think that was kind of tough to get. Uh, Mega Phantom Beast uh, were blurring. And Fire Formation Yoko, another holo for us, I'll take it. Another super rare. I think back then, too, it was one of those things where it seemed like with these boxes, you would get two super rares and an ultra. I think happened a lot with me on opening, so we'll see if that still holds up. If that's the case, then we're missing an ultra rare. I, I remember that happening a lot with openings on this set. So we'll see, again, if that happens. Googly eyes. <laughs> I still like that card. Then Arching Calvary. A cool looking card for sure. Only a few packs left. Come on. Let's get something really cool. Especially Ultimate Rare. Oh. We might have got something, actually. I think I can see. Uh, let's see. Archfiend uh, Palabrith and... There we go! He actually got him, too! I thought I could see on the edge, the ultimate rare. So, yeah, we got an ultimate rare, and not only that, it's Utopia Ray Victory. I think this one's starting to get some hype, too, right now. Again, with all Utopia support we're getting this this year, I mean, we got a, a Lightning Overdrive. I couldn't think of the set name. You know, Utopia, that new form being on the front. We have a structure deck coming out, and then uh, Brothers of Legend, which is the new Battles of Legend, also includes new support for Utopia. So, Utopia's getting a lot of stuff, and I'm pretty excited. And I've already done a Utopia Deck profile using what we have in English so far. But, uh, yeah, I've heard Victory is starting to get some hype. And then when the other stuff comes out, too, it's going to be pretty dang cool. I do plan to update that deck profile, too, when we get more support. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> that is awesome, especially getting the Ultimate Rear. Yeah, I remember, too, wishing that he would have been the Ghost Rear in this. Uh, it's actually Star Eater that's the Ghost Rear in this set, if you didn't know that. I'm getting asleep, by the way, for wondering. But, uh, yeah, I remember wishing it was Victory. I think... Victory was the Ghost Rare for the Japanese version, I think. But that looks cool. Anyway, two packs left. Maybe there's something else. I have no idea. I'm happy about that, though. I mean, he's even on our box, so it just makes sense. <laughs> Let's see, Reception. Medolce. There's a few Medolce here. We have Tour Bus uh, Two Forbidden Realms. And there's our Ultra Rare. We got a uh, Shape Sister. I see this on Duel Links, actually. So, yeah, there's an Ultra Rare for us. We got two Supers, an Ultra, and an Ultimate Rare so far. And still, one pack left. Okay, let's see. And I can say it. Can we end with a Hollow? Let's see. Share your energy. Like and subscribe. Help me out, you guys. I mean, you probably already have. I got an Ultimate Rare. But, you know, still want to end with a Hollow, I guess. I'm greedy. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, it wouldn't be a bad thing, right? Brother of the Fire Fist, uh, Kieran, and... Ah, uh, unfortunately not. Like I said, though, I can't complain. I got an Ultimate Rare. I'm happy. So, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Just something kind of random. Again, I got this... Uh, I think they still had some on Amazon. Check for yourself. But uh, check out Swagbucks. Definitely helps out the channel when you do that. And also my link with TCG Player. If you buy anything from there, after you click on my link, it helps support the channel as well. And I'm trying to... I'm, like, upgrading some stuff lately and trying to do some different stuff, too. And, uh, yeah. All that stuff helps out tremendously. So, thank you for that. And, of course, just by liking, subscribing, watching the videos helps me out too so if that's all you can do i still greatly appreciate that it helps way more than you think so thank you for watching be safe out there let me know what else i should open up in the future and of course i will catch you guys later see ya